and the Team Roping Journal does a great job about compiling all that money and getting these stories together. And we'll start off with number eight, Caleb Driggers Dre with $650,000 won on this horse. He's made four NFR appearances from 2012 to 2017. He won the regular season four times. It's a definitely a once in a lifetime horse right here. Well, and what's really kind of crazy on the, on the team roping side of things, you kind of look at some of these horses, it, you know, the game changed a little bit. Speed and Rich really changed the game uh, in terms of making it so much faster uh, with what happens there in at Thomas and Mac. And of course, that's where the bulk of that money is went. Dustin Bird, uh, great horse dolly, three quarters of a million dollars uh, active from 2017 through 2019, five trips to the national finals rodeo. And to win that world championship, man, you've got to be uh, you got to have the right horse, and uh, it's it's kind of interesting. You have the short score, the long score for these horses, but uh, what happens to Thomas and Mac really uh, is what matters most. And you can see in 2017, Eric Rogers winning a world championship there. He gave $20,000 for Dolly at the very end of his career, which is a lot for a young kid at that time. Um, it was a great investment for his 12-year career, and you can see that right in the major wins that he's got going on. Well, um, one of my favorites, Viper, ridden by uh, Speed Williams. Uh, Speed and Rich rattled off eight straight world titles, and you can see that the, between Viper and Bob, Speed wound up with about 900,000. But I tell you, he, he kind of ushered in that nod, one swing, and let it go era that's still going on in team roping. He did, and he mastered it, and he's done a great job about teaching the up-and-comers how to nod, ride, and swing. I think Speed is definitely um, one of the goats that we'll never forget, and so therefore we won't forget Viper because that that's insane. That's a big stat. Yeah, and be, let's be honest, major wins. You get fill up a whole book with that for the most part. Uh, Clay Smith's Marty, one million dollars in earnings, and uh, that speaks volumes there. It does. One point seven million dollars is what Clay Smith has in total in pro rodeo earnings, and one million dollars of that is due to Marty. He says I could ride him at Pendleton and then turn around and ride him at the NFR, and I think that's what sets Marty apart is that he can score no matter what the setup is there. And look at the years active, the longevity they got out of Marty. It's pretty incredible. 2010 through uh, 2022, still active. Uh, jackpotting right now, but that just, you know, that, that's amazing that you're going to get that kind of a, a, a career out of a horse that's that caliber. And of course, that makes it a little easier to rack up $1 million. So we're counting down the top eight, by the way. So that's just the start 